Hey everybody, welcome back. I think this weekly we, we finally figured it out. Early game, don't lose. That's not great advice, honestly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to articulate the reasons that it's so important. Because the choice of this game happens at tier three, tier four, okay, for this week. I'll be a, I'll be a miffed scallywag. You tell you, I scrub the poop deck. I'm the, I'm the second mate in charge of rigging and I'm to be swabbing the poop deck. Who died and made you captain? Uh, a good captain who was being replaced by a bad captain? Anyway. Good one. Owned, owned, eviscerated. If you get snipers, like a dolphin, tier three, tier four, you choose. You choose snipers. If you get scalers, particularly a buffalo, then like good equipment like a lemon, then you go scaling. You choose your path. Early on, you don't have to choose. But then you get to college, and on level up, you might have to choose. You gotta choose a major. Are we choosing sniping? No, we're choosing to we're, we're choosing to wait briefly, which is unfortunate for me because I would rather I do better when I have some structure. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to roll. I'm not sold on the equipment. Not really sold on the flamingo so much. Um, you know what? Okay, I'm glad you gave me a second chance because I've decided I might be a little sold on the flamingo. Actually, we got a moth level up. We want to see. There's like my take on this week is there's like three meta-defining animals. Now I say that as if I know what I'm talking about and I definitely don't. So take this with a grain of salt. I feel like early dolphin, other is, is a little meta-defining. Otherwise, it's lynx and it's buffalo. So, and they don't all work, you know, super well together necessarily. I don't really know what I'd be doing with the broccoli here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get like a super combine, mostly because I don't know what else to do. And we're, we're gonna, I, I think our team looks pretty bad right now, but I'm waiting for one of those units to show up. Just one of those sneaky little, potentially run defining units to show up. And we've done our job in the early game. We stayed alive, we, we got wins, but perhaps more importantly, we didn't get many losses. Lynx, there you go. So I've decided we'll be running a little sniper team. I don't necessarily think that we are going to be running like mosquitoes long term. But I will say that to get an early level three is... I mean, there's no bison, but I think it's better than the other alternatives that were available to us. Now, this is the power of a dolphin. You've, you've witnessed the power of a dolphin right in front of your very eyes. We will lose this one, and it's because the dolphin, especially two dolphins, you can go a little wide with dolphins. It got the job done. Lynx me. Level me. I feel like an anteater could be perfectly fine here. I feel like an anteater could be perfectly... We can never afford to sell our mosquito, okay? Because it's a level three, so it makes our lynx that much better. What we're looking for is more lynx, more snipers. Maybe we could put a pineapple on our mosquito and, and have it, you know, finish the job when the, when the lynx doesn't actually get the kill. And I don't know, the, I forgot there's one more animal. And I didn't come into this with a script, so I appreciate your, appreciate your understanding here. I think the shark, if you make it that far, can also make the difference. Not interested. Very not interested, unfortunately extremely in more interested than I've ever been in anything in my life. Um, with God as my witness, I thought that turkeys could fly. And with God as my witness, I do not think the moose is that good. But I think of the options available, it's the best. Level 2 links with a pineapple. That in and of itself can do some real damage. I think... Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> At least it's only level 1, but this is gonna hurt, man. No, actually, I think we're going to be completely fine. Never mind. It's not going to hurt that bad when you fell from heaven. Um, some, like, one unit that's decent, plus, like, some a lemon on top of it maybe could do some work. It's tempting to add a buffalo. But I think I've, I've chosen snipers, man. I think I'm here on sniper build. Freezing our shop temporarily to make a moose better. You could leave, like, something open. 
Level two bison's mighty tempting, isn't it? I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't do. I'm gonna pivot, and and beyond the pivot, I was also just kind of like hedging my bets. Now we've got we've got a finger in two different archetypes, and that scares me a little bit. But I do think the moose was a bit of a thirteen dead end drive. So like. I'm not sure if we're going to keep running the bison. It's definitely a little late to start getting pot committed for it. And I think we'll, we'll suffer either briefly or forever as a result of that, okay? But you got to... I, I always say it's not just an excuse for, for bad results. You got to play the shop that you're driven. Or you're given, I should say. Okay, we're, we're straddling the line. You got to play the shop that you're given. And the shop that the shops that we've been given, for me, I feel like we're we're doing the right thing right now. Ooh, you're very important to me having a chance to not disappoint my parents on this run. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk. This would be a very good time to play against a team that's not very good. It's probably not going to happen. We're getting a little late in the week for that kind of hopium, but uh, it would it would really hit the spot. Yeah, this is not winnable. Dude, that anteater is like... Maybe I was completely wrong when I said there's like three meta-defining animals. Anteater is also relevant, for sure. Lionfish seems relevant. You got to spawn? get added what about we're, we're on lethal what if you went out of left field here you summon like an alpaca which allows you to much more quickly get to like a level two monkey maybe if you get like a little lucky i don't know i think we're probably going down but i think we did okay with what we had available to us there oh i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe we're okay maybe we're maybe we're fine Maybe we're fine. Okay, what is this, six? We've got a ways to go, that's for sure. At the risk of making my links a lot worse, I do think we can, like, sell you, spawn a buffalo, add you in on top. Stegosaurus is such a good buff, but it's gonna buff such bad units. I think I have to give it a chance, at least, knowing it could level up very quickly. Like, we need one buffalo, one monkey, or one stegosaurus would really hit the spot, man. I, I just don't know if I see a white tiger. You know what? Actually, I do see a white tiger getting it done for us. Because the white tiger is going to get buffed by the alpaca. Uh, never mind, we already summoned the buffalo this turn. Okay, so we're going to pray. That's a thing that we do now. Um, not like that. I guess we're hoping... Oh, but wait a minute. The Stegosaurus got the hot dog, too. This is terrible news. I did, it, it went all wrong, man. It, it could not have gone more wrong. Don't. Not like this. Not like this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, mercifully saved and all those crap units we bought... Let's just say that we bought them to make the buffalo pop, okay? Roll me. Garbage. Roll me. A tiger... will make the stegosaurus work. We could always put it on a lynx as well. Let's just get the... Let's get the buff we're looking for. That's, that's for next time, okay? A tiger will allow the Stegosaurus to give a super buff to either the tiger or the llama. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's... It's worse. It's worse than that bad. Okay, I'm, I'll be the first to tell you. Look, we got six. I think we made some mistakes, but I think our heart was in the right place. I like this to the tune of the circle of life for some reason. 
He's been watching way too many Disney movies because he's got a two-year-old. You get the idea. A joke. It, look, it's a little lazy, but it gets the people pumped up, okay? From the classic films of the 90s to the garbage contained in the vault. There's, I don't know why this is Arabian Nights, but there's more to see than can ever be seen. Disney's not like particularly litigious with uh, like intellectual property rights, right? I can get away with singing that one. It's a circle of, if your pitch is that bad, you can get away with singing anything. Mosquito me. Interesting. I think we gotta we gotta give it a chance. Did we lose that last one? We did. That doesn't seem how is that possible? Spawn me? I'm gonna say just be on be a part of the squad for now. Spawn me. I mean we got very good value. Two level twos. One's about to be a 2.33 repeating, of course. Kangaroo tends to hit above its weight class in terms of stats. Even if it can... It, it's not even required really here. But even if it only gets like one trigger, having had the snail to elevate it a little bit as well is nice. Let's get make our mosquito a little bit more useful here. And honestly, let's make it make our kangaroo a little bit more useful. Maybe the kangaroo is also a meta-defining animal. Maybe, maybe there is no meta-defining animal and that's emblematic of a game that's got a good homeostatic equilibrium of uh, balance right now. I don't know. Would love to know your thoughts on this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Great use of the kangaroo. Great use of the broccoli. My kangaroo's a little bit bigger. Three wins. Okay. Great efficiency so far. Now, like, you gotta go. Or we could freeze you, I guess. But I'm going to say, why don't you take a cucumber for now? It's just good value. It tends to be good value. I'm going to freeze a mosquito. What are we looking for instead? Nothing, really. Good point. Okay, so let's buy the mosquito then. Probably made more sense to put you there. Ah! I would freeze a dolphin. A dolphin turn six instead of turn five. Probably not that big of a deal. And we've got a snail stealing our opponent's dolphin shots so that we don't um, have our kangaroo get killed. By just uh, If they have two dolphins, we're in trouble, I think. But one dolphin, no big deal. Okay, mission accomplished. Now, this is not a sniping nor a scaling team right now. This is just a team. Why don't you take one of these? This is a very kind of an obvious turn. Sure, don't mind if I do. I would happily put out a level two kangaroo. I would happily put out a, just a second dolphin and combine our mosquitoes. I'm very content with our team right now. I feel like they, blessed are their snipers for they got the better even of my blunders. And yet at the same time, we're looking good. There's another one. We're on five already. Look at the power of an early game kangaroo. And look at the power of this. I think you kind of got to commit. <laughs> it's a really good unit. <laughs> Look at the power of this. And then add one of these just to... Ooh, but that's also pretty useful. Um, we, I think we could say... It's very unlikely with no pills we're going to get value out of the ant. It seems like a great time to embrace making our level 3 mosquito as strong as possible, as fast as possible so that our kangaroo can, at level two can also basically inherit all of that strength. This seems like this is a potentially very winning combination. And then what's the shark doing? Well, like for now, it's basically just being there. I've been humbled by a shark too frequently in the past to overlook it when it shows up on level up like that. But if we were to get a mantis or like a bunch of anteaters or something, then we would, we would change our tune. Like a bunch of anteaters, for example. Um, six wins. I definitely think we can, like, sell the monkey. 
We're, we're, we're occupying too many different archetypes together, though. A George divided cannot stand. Keep the monkey. Buy me. Buy me. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try to shoot the moon. I'm going to try to try to straddle two different archetypes simultaneously, okay? Now, I know I said you have to choose Scaler or Sniper. What we are playing here is none of the above. We're playing Shark... Sharker. Scaler... Sniper, Sharker, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. And you know what? I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm guilty. <laughs> oh, and what a win it was. We do have to buff you a little bit. Like, you have to not get sniped. But we also have to keep our kangaroo pump in here. It's a, it's a very groovy combination, baby. You do need a lemon, too, but I'm going to lemon you first. Then we could go level two Anteater, even though it takes away a trigger. But then we could give the Anteater a one-up and kind of get the best of both worlds. I'm telling you. I know we're straddling two different archetypes right now. But I think that, I think that we're going to prove that a George Divided can stand. Sometimes. Level me? That's that's a perfect get. I want it like that, though. My favorite Backstreet Boys song. I want it like that. Classic. Now, with, we're, if we're going to run into trouble, it's going to happen soon. Because our... Our mosquito can't keep up the charade forever of buffing our kangaroo probably but we might get to 10 wins before the fall off really happens and everything's on like a gradient too like we could I, I know how this sounds it's a little copium but we could just go up against like a team that's like a 7 out of 10 instead of a 9 and that allows us to get a win in a round where otherwise our odds might have been considered slightly diminished. Now this round looks pretty bad. That couldn't have come at a worse time. <laughs> oh no. I didn't even get to use my death touch. We could also play a team that's a 10 instead of a 4 and then we look a little humbled, but... We got lots of HP, no crying yet. Why don't you summon a tier 6 when you die? Save some popcorn. We could always... No, I don't want to get rid of your... Your lemon. Just get to attack... No! <laughs> Please. Please. What am I supposed to do with this? I got nothing, man! We actually... All things considered, we weren't that far off there. The shark has got to live. If our shark dies, we don't stand a chance. But the, the, the pair to take it to five is very, very unlikely to save it. Please, no snipers. No snipers. What the heck? They've, they've created a monster. Okay, it's all... Shark, it's all in your territory now. Oh my god, their kangaroo's gonna go sicko mode, dude! I'm in trouble. I, I'm not in trouble. I lost. I honestly can't believe we didn't get the 10 wins here. I, I thought we were guaranteed 10. I've gotten a lot of nines this week. But I will say, like, God is my witness. I know what I'm about to say is going to sound insane. I love the hard hat team, by the way. What a great look. They look like they mean business. Um, I'll be an upside down stinker. That's when the toilet poops on you, I guess. I will say, maybe a little copium. But not, if you took a, a random assortment of 10-win games and a random assortment of 9-win games, I bet the 9-win teams just look way more interesting. I'm stacking you. Okay, there's our level. Like, the 10-win teams, you're going to get a lot of, like, big units with lemons on them. The 9-win teams, there's a lot of, like, big units with lemons that didn't quite get the job done. But then there's going to be a lot of teams where you're like, what the heck were they thinking about with this one? How did that even get to 9? Anyway, this seems fine so far. 
We know it's not good enough with me behind the wheel. So I'm going to ignore it. And instead, honestly, I'm just going to invest in, in scaling my best unit. The real problem here is no HP. But with a level 2 plus moth, this one's so close, man. It's so close to Mosquito. <laughs> We could invest in HP scaling. Like a broccoli would be would be a fine investment here. I would add a bat. I've been I've been hurt by weakness before. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised. I think it's a little late to to pray for those fish. What is this team? They got they got a buy sell team going on, and the worst part is it's gonna work for them. I'm. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. How about one of these? How about a level? We got lots of opportunities. How about a Lynx? I, what, did I, what, did I, what have I told you many times? I feel like the Lynx is one of those like potentially meta-defining units this week. It would be nice if it was level two, but let's not cry about it just yet. Okay, now we can start to cry about it. We are on lethal, which seems impossible, but here we are. Scale a little of your HP, please. Scale it a little more. And I'm gonna be real with you. I think we could afford to sell a mosquito and like go all in on this moth helping us out. Like I think it's, the moth is, is where we gotta invest these resources to have a reasonable chance right now. I do love a snipe. I love being alive. I'm gonna lose anyway. No, I'm gonna draw anyway. I'm gonna draw the game anyway. Marry that game. No, okay, okay. A deer is good enough to party. We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a whole lot going on here. Um, we do have a very strong deer up at the front, as long as it doesn't get sniped. We do have the potentiality of a level 2 deer. Have you noticed this? Have you heard about this one, Kevin? Holy cow, we won another round. Another moth. Very nice, even though it's not the right time for it. Any time is the right time, I think, when, you, uh, when you're on 1 HP. Or 1 life. Um... Lynx pineapple, you know, more likely to get a kill. Oh no. At least we killed the kangaroo, but it's looking modestly nasty. Still, still. We actually got a little closer than I thought we would there. I got one more in me. I'm not going to give you a short video on, on the back of that. We could do better than that. Love it. And you know what? I think a cockroach maybe. Ooh, now this is interesting. Let me be a uh, dense bush. How about that? A dense bush. Have you heard of this, Kevin? The dense bush, have you heard of this? I honestly thought we might lose that round. That was very scary to me. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't really need to summon more than one loyal chinchilla. And the level up gives two. So I think it's almost like a sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Add me in here. I don't know what I'm doing with you, so I'm just going to buy you. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I think that even if we end up like wasting a level as a result or a, a purchase as a result of that, I think I'm going to be okay with it. I'm realizing now we may get to a level three, which is kind of uh, incredible kind of information I don't know what to do with. So I'm just gonna have a three, three, two, 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 one, two, four, with maybe two levels up coming fast. They got a sloth? What's, what are they putting in the shops these days, man? And that was a win. And I feel like my brain has expanded a little bit, but they, I mean, no disrespect to the sloth. Best of luck to you. So, Sell me. Level me. I hate you. Um, ignore it. 
No, don't ignore it. Sell me. Check this out. <laughs> this is going nowhere. Sell me. How are you a 3-4? Wait, set attack to the current shop tier plus one? When did they change you? So you're you're actually like not sellable. We don't really need to level you up though. Shop tier plus two. So you'd be paying six gold to get you one extra attack per turn plus the stats. So to me, that's not worth it. Sell me. Buy me. Combine me. Buy me. Combine me. And you know what? Here I go doing it anyway. Buy me. And there's no need to combine me. You, you will do better when you go wide. You'll both be four fours next turn. And then why don't you get some form of like permanent scaling just to give us a chance. Listen, I always, what have I been saying lately? I think you got to do the, you got to run with the shops that you're given. And on this one and apparently every single run, we are almost exclusively given dogs, okay? So we got to try to make the dog team work when we get it, at least into the mid game. You guys do not get combined. Roll me. Well, obviously, we'll take the level. We kind of have to take the one up just to keep space available. So I'm going to do it. Blowfish. I feel like this is the first time I've had a blowfish all week. I'm adding you in here and I'm going to try to I'm going to try to make you work. Another cockroach. I don't know about that, but here we are. This seems bad, but it seems bad in a very interesting way. Certainly a, a very different way than, than we've been running the squads from the get-go here. Oh my god, we're gonna win. Cockroach is kind of half decent now. What a world. Okay, you need a pineapple. I'm gonna buy you. Make our dog a little better. Probably gonna buy a dolphin. Uh, how, how many chinchillas have I rolled past? Be honest with me. Sell me. I'll just combine you next turn, okay? And I'll keep the dolphin frozen with the pineapple just in case. We'd be looking... I mean, if we could wait even like another turn to do the level, I really don't feel confident in doing this, but it... Oh, no! If we could wait another turn to do the level up, that would be great. Can we at least draw this? Oh, we can do better than draw this, baby. Maybe we could wait until the next turn to take our level up, at which point we would get a tier five, which could be a monkey, which could make our blowfish pop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet on it. I'm gonna get it twisted. I just don't see it. I just don't see the dog going any, even with the croissant, I don't see you going any further. Don't make me laugh. Because if you make me laugh, I'm, I'm liable to start crying. Yes, very useful. Okay. So we basically chose to accept the loss in this round to set up for a, a, a fairly low percentage chance that we could go to the moon with a, with a lot of luck on our side. We did lose. It wasn't by too much, to be honest with you, but we did lose. Now you're going to go. If this is going to work, we have to try the shark. And we could do like shark. Let's just pull this band-aid off. Anteater. Blowfish. Maybe set it up like this. It's not a very inspiring team to look at. I would be the first to tell you that. Hold on, though. I love mathematics, and I'm not afraid. I don't care who knows it. I love math. This is mid-pivot, okay? So, like, don't judge. This. this is like Jeff Goldblum, but he's not quite out of the fly chain. The fly... Sorry, I've got my metaphors mixed up. He's already been in the fly chamber for too long. Um, he's, he's, he is the fly in the same way Christopher Mintz plots is McLovin. Now, you do need garlic, but I'm just going to scale you for a minute here. Roll me. Yes, this is necessary. 
Now, believe it or not, like killing an anteater makes sense, but it also doesn't. Because we get the buffs out of this. I feel like you kill a chinchilla, leave an anteater alive to buff your shark. I know it sounds, listen, it might not sound crazy. That might be crazy. But if we kill an anteater, we're also only going to get one ant spot, uh, spat out, which is not something that interests me right now. We mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, okay? I actually feel like we probably draw this one. Maybe that's naive of me. No, wait. Yes. <laughs> and at some point, we'll pivot to lemon on the shark, but it's not yet. So you get killed. We could have gotten three gold for the sale. I fully acknowledge that. Now, two anteaters for now. If we have to kill one, we have to kill one. But I'd rather not. Take some, some of that. Take some of that. Take some of that. I'll actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you one better. With God as my witness, I feel like you just killed the blowfish. I feel like the core of this team is going to be mantis shark and then a bunch of things with like faint triggers. Don't be afraid to kill your blowfish. It didn't get there. We, it, it had an opportunity to get there. It never got there. What are we going to do? We're not going to cry about it. We're going to, you know, let's go with a team that has a chance to work. Now, in this round, it's probably not going to get it done. Never mind. It's going to draw. I'll live with that because we're, we're mid-psycho pivot. Now, here's the deal. You're actually just killable. And I have to kill something every turn. So I will just buy you and keep you around. Next round, some very useful foods unlocked that would that could make my life a little bit easier. We're, we're, are we snipe proof? We're getting, if we're not snipe proof, we're certainly getting there. This is a scary round though. I need shark buffs, thank you. Shark buffs. Shark buff me. Shark buff. We are dead. Lemon would have helped out a lot there, but that's okay. We're not lethal, right? We're not lethal. We are lethal, okay. How can I do this in such a way? Like, I feel like I need to buy this lemon. I guess we're probably not going to fully combine you all this turn. And if we're not going to fully combine you... No, it still makes sense to do it this way. And I don't know. We might we might have gone a little bit too Machiavellian in the pivot. You know, there's like uh we we did not act with um with caution. We threw caution to the wind. We said get out of here, caution. We tossed it out the window. But you know what? I'm I'm actually looking and I'm liking. Doesn't seem that bad. Doesn't seem bad at all. Ooh, I thought we had him. Never mind. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hold me. I want you to hold me. I'm not, I don't want to take the level just yet. Because I need something to replace the slot with. I could create a super anteater by buying a stegosaurus for a turn. And then... Okay, you know what? Yes. It could work, or I could have you summon... No, I can't really have you summon four level four ants. Or level two ants. <laughs> level four ants? What? Would you be upset if I went four squatted right now? I kind of... Genuinely, for real, think it's the best option available to me. Oh, but the Stegosaurus is buffing freaking nothing, man, because I put a one-up on my uh, on my anteater. Joke's on you. You killed a unit that doesn't do anything. That's, I'm not worried about a level one blowfish. I'm not even that worried about a level one kangaroo back there, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> I told you, don't crit me, though. Don't. That's the rule. You can't crit me. Ah, oh, never mind. You can crit me. It doesn't even matter. Don't tase me, bro. Kind of a, a great name. Hot take, though. They shouldn't have tased that guy. Just my two cents. Okay, we can't buy that next unit yet. What are we popping in here then instead? Honestly, just give me a lionfish. I'm paying three gold 
for one weakness. Don't make me regret it. I would say that was good value. I'm, I'm very content with my value. What's your deal? Oh no! <laughs> Bro, all I do is... All I have are negative thoughts. All I do is summon new units. No, no! This guy's gonna eat me alive. Never mind. Somehow, nevertheless, I persisted. Okay, look at that. Holy cow. Okay, no more Aardvargs, please. That sucked. And I realize you're not even spawning enough. Like, you don't have enough space, but so be it. We're still, we're still getting some pretty decent efficiency out of it. So I would, I would throw a scorpion on for one round. I think it might even be better than a lionfish. I don't know. I'd love to see an orca. That's like the other one I'd love to see. I lived. That is a big crocodile, though. Ah, oh, but this is where the freaking scorpion comes to play, dude. Let's go. So that's eight. No, it's seven. Oh my god, what is this, like round 17? This is a nightmare, man. I'm not buying a freaking uh, a, a, a pair at this point of the game. Are you crazy? I'm not drinking any freaking Merlot. I mean, Armadillo's one HP for everybody. We gotta, we gotta get a little bigger than that. I just, I don't believe the Vulture helps out. It pushes everything one step too far forward. Sure, a spider is like at least something. And honestly, like, no, I mean, I'm paying this just because like when you die, you're gonna spit out a level one tier three and then the popcorn's gonna get yeeted. But like, I'm paying three gold for one extra trigger on my shark. And the reason I'm doing it is because we're at that stage of the game. <laughs> Where we have to... We have to make, like, suboptimal plays just because, like, the time for optimal plays is long gone. There's no way we lose this one. Like, I, I definitely think that this orca is going to spit out, like, 20 units when it dies. But the, the shark is going to be too strong, man. The vulture can't stop me. Do, do your worst. Even with the, the microbe weakness, I'm not sweating it. Oh, never mind. Come on! Okay, I'd rather have a scorpion up there. What did it spit out? I gotta go back and check the tape. Yeah, we should. I think crocodile could go hard too, but... Okay, this is very important. We have to wait around, which means we might not be alive to see it, but... You could also one-up a scorpion that works in battle, and then when the mantis kills it, you get another scorpion out there, but the timing just didn't work out. My scorpion! Okay, this is like... I mean... We're gonna do no damage to this buffalo, which is really bad. But I could really use this extra attack to kill the... Could you kill the buffalo? Oh my god, you're actually going to kill the buffalo before it gets you. Thank the lord. I don't know. I'm not calculating the, the probability on that one, but I'm very thankful. My, me being a stupid guy voice? Yeah, sure. I'll go one more. I'll give you one more quick one. Okay, there's no point to like any of this. Not interested. Little late for a level one kangaroo, I think. It's definitely, you can throw out an orca. The thing is, I would, but you're giving me so many triggers, man. I would rather like not kill an orca if I can avoid it. So you know what? I think I figured out what I want to do. We're going to run lionfish for one round. If we live, which is not necessarily likely, then we combine anteaters. We run an orca in like a workable position. We lost a lot of summons on that one. But it was great weakness. Is it great enough? It might be great enough, man. I know it's not what you want to hear, but it might be. I think it is. Then we can run an orca in front of the anteaters. I can't believe this is somehow holding it, man. That's nine. 
we lose three summons. Well, we lose two summons. But we gain one summon that has the possibility of summoning. Plus, we could get a one-up. I'm, I'm risking it. Because we're getting close to, like, the cap anyway. And then what do you run for one round? <laughs> Kangaroo, I suppose. I mean, in, in the best possible world, it could get to be, like, a 10-10. It lived, which is kind of insane to me to begin with. It is, this one's getting tough to imagine with the chili peppers, uh, and the microbe, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, no, I think, I think we die. Yeah. All right. Listen, what did I tell you? Nine runs more interesting than eight runs. I think we could have won that one, maybe with just the anteaters that we had, but I had fun regardless. I hope you did too, and I'll see you next time. See ya.